were hurrying to get meat and cheese on air. Can I get a whoop whoop in the house, everyone? No. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Sorry we're late, everyone. We were busy drinking meat and eating cheese. Yeah, we were doing one of our pre-meat and cheese sessions. This time we actually did a quite a, well, thought-provoking experiment, didn't we, Corey? We did. We did a great experiment. We've been mixing mead with a lot of other drinks to find out what mead mixes the best with. And um, surprisingly, unsurprisingly, it mixes well with everything. It makes everything better. <clears throat> yeah. Now, <clears throat> like, for example, I don't like Fosters. I do not like Fosters at all. I'm not a beer person. But if you add beer, if you add beer and mead together, I mean, that is a nice drink. It is. It's really nice. And, um, I, and I'm sure it's amazing for you because you like beer. I do like beer. Mead and beer mixes together really well, surprisingly. I, I didn't expect it to be so nice, but yeah. Yeah. So we've got other people in the studio with us. Say hello. Hello. Well, no. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Are we producing? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, introduce yourselves. Um, you're on mead and cheese. And tell us your favourite mead and your favourite cheese. So, my, my name is Anna. I'm sorry, I'm just going to be very shy today because it's my first time to being on, on this amazing event. Yeah, <laughs> clap for me. Thank you. Uh, and, and the first thing is that I'm going to be probably hated by the other team because I like Leicester. <laughs> and I hate cheddar. <laughs> Red Leicester is the best cheese. <laughs> yes. It is. I it have is. made my opinions on this very clear. Oh my god! <laughs> like cheddar is the most basic of cheeses, but it's and it makes it the greatest cheese because you know what you're going to get every time. There is no variation. It is cheddar. Hal halloumi is the best cheese. It's oh. the most interesting. Halloumi is oh wrong. My goodness. No, halloumi is the greatest cheese it ever. Because people forget it's a cheese. It's that's nice. It's like a but. It's like the god of cheese. It's like if you know, it, it's like it came from the heavens itself. Yeah, to be fair, I just imagined that. Like, if I would imagine cheese as a god, that would be halloumi. Yeah. Speaking of the heavens, uh, you told us last week as a fact that mead was referred to as nectar by the ancient Greeks. It was, yeah. Um, ancient Egyptians. They used to think it, ha it, it, it was like the <laughs> drink of the gods, which, to be honest, the way it mixes with all these other, like, Coke, beer, cider, I can't say they're wrong. They're not wrong. Mead feels like it comes from the heavens so yeah <laughs> let it, me try it <laughs> because it does it yeah. does honestly it is really good what do you yeah, think anna we... do you like it <laughs> it's sweet a little bit mm, i can i can feel the cherry taste in there but really very delicate yeah i i would say i like it but I would definitely mix that with something stronger because I barely can feel alcohol in there. But I don't, yeah. I don't think so. This so is good. what it's about. Just it's about taste, not alcohol, isn't it? Just a bit of context. We've not got our traditional mead no. with us this week. We've brought in some black cherry mead. Mm. And I've not tried it yet because um, we've, we've started having a little bit of a discussion. But once I do try it, we're going to do a, a ranking of yeah. meads. Yeah, because we, what we want to do is, all meads are good meads, there's no bad mead. Maybe the blue mead, that might be a bit debatable. Um, but we're going to have a mead chart, and also we're going to have a cheese chart. So every week when we have a guest on, um, particularly the cheese, the people who are on it are going to rate their favourite cheese, and we're going to see what cheese at the end of the year is on top. I'm betting halloumi is, because I can persuade everyone that halloumi is the best cheese. Wensleydale. Your vote, yeah, Wensleydale. <laughs> Sorry, you just you need to say it a bit, a little bit more like Wallace, please. Wensleydale. Wensleydale. <laughs> yeah. Are you just Peter Salis reincarnated? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Did Peter Salis like mead? <laughs> Let's. He was in a show called Last of the Summer Wine. I yeah. think he was very into his alcohol. Yeah. There we go. Mm. Wallace and Gromit. The next one is going to be about mead. And not cheese. Okay. Calling it now. Well, I don't feel like dancing. I don't know about you guys. I always feel like dancing, oh, especially no, yes. when I've had some mead. Yeah. I'm dancing on the inside. No, fun fact about Corey, we mentioned this last week, but uh, when he gets to a certain level of um, 
drunk, he decides it's a great idea to take his shirt off and belly dance for everybody. Yeah. Um, true story. I'm and a- then go and collect pizza outside of our accommodation <laughs> with his shirt off. I'm I mean, a great belly dancer. That's brave. I, I mean, uh, you, uh, yes, but Are I wasn't you? expecting it on the first night we probably met you. I am. I am a good belly dancer. I mean, I can't show everyone over the radio because I don't think it's physically uh, possible. Yeah, there is no nudity allowed in the... Yeah. Unfortunately. Can confirm we are all fully clothed in the studio. But, yeah, um, belly dancing is a fun activity. Oh, sorry, they've got distracted with the mouse. They've got We're all lost it on the st- on So, the st- down. we spoke earlier about starting a mead leaderboard, um, a ranking, as you will, of meads. <laughs> and we have just tried... The Lime Bay Winery Black Cherry Mead. What's everyone think of it? I like it. I think I much prefer it to the traditional mead that you got last week. I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong. It tastes just like honey. But this is so much more easier to drink. So would you vote this over or under the honey one? I don't know. I need to try the other one next. The honey. You've had the honey last no, week. No, no, no. no. The, the other. The tournament one. The we'll, tournament, we'll try the yeah. tournament one soon. But oh, okay. But where are we ranking this one? I personally would rank it below the traditional meat. I would also bat that beef. I'm I'm with you guys, yeah. 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 I think I really like this, but... But the traditional meat is the traditional meat. Maybe the tournament one will surprise us, and we'll rank that at number one, but we'll Maybe. have to wait until we've tried it. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Hello. Honestly, Shakira, what a bot, guys. I loved it. Loved it. Yeah, uh, I I like a bit of Shakira. I really imagine you dancing belly dance <laughs> to the Shakira. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. <laughs> After yeah. that, what you said. I mean, said. his hips don't lie, so... My hips don't lie. I have um, I have what they call childbearing hips. They're very wide. <laughs> 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 if you can imagine. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God. So um, we we spoke about doing a cheese tasting. What What is that yeah. about? So, um... Tom, you had to walk us through your cheese platter that you've brought in for us. Yeah, yeah, the cho- the cheese platter what we had earlier, what we've not brought in today, is um, a mixture of camembert, um, camembert, yeah, camembert, and we've got uh, a br- is there a brie there? A brie, brie? yeah, a Stilton, yeah, a blue cheese, yeah. blue cheese, yeah, yeah. Um, um, we also had like a red Leicester. And a cheddar. And cheddar. And back at um, the Mead and Cheese HQ, we've <coughs> also got a... Hold on, that's not camembert. That is brie. Is that brie? Yeah, that's Wensleydale oh, with it? cranberries. Wensleydale. <laughs> <laughs> I've been very confused at the minute because I was just like, that's not what brie looks like. <laughs> and it, do you continue, Tom? Yeah, um, so we've got a few cheeses back at the Mead and Cheese HQ. We've got a... A very interesting one what me and Corey tried before the show, which was, um, I think it was apple and truffles cheese. It was infused with truffles. Yeah. Yeah, it was It was interesting. It was interesting. I'm not sure if I could eat a lot of it. We've got a nettle cheese. It's cheese with uh, bits of nettles. Does it sting? Mixed in. I don't know. We've I not tried know. it yet. <laughs> we're, we're, have, we've you got have, have you ever had ne- nettle soup? I haven't, but I've heard it's very nice. Yeah, I don't really know why, though, because it's just hot water and stinging nettles. Yeah, but when you boil them, the stingers dissolve, don't they? So it doesn't sting you. Yeah, but I just don't want to eat it. Yeah. But why not? <laughs> it's a nice, green, healthy do you plant. Think, do you think it would go with cheese? Nettles and cheese sounds like a great combination. As long as you make sure to boil the nettles first so you don't sting your mouth <laughs> while you're eating it. Just eating the raw stinging nettles. Exactly. Anyway, what are we actually doing? What are we doing? We're just so, rambling on. Ed, have you ever tried any of these cheeses? Uh, I have tried cheddar and red Leicester, and I th- no, I have tried Wensley Dough. In the oh, okay, so it's only fair you get to try some Stilton. Stilton. Yeah, because no one else is going to touch that. <laughs> yeah. We've also got some crackers in this studio, so don't worry, we're not going to be spilling it. Any- no, uh, put it on the cracker. You're going to put it on the cracker. Put it on a cracker. Oh. Yeah. We're doing this properly now. It's meat and cheese. Meat and cheese, and you forgot the crackers grommet. Exactly. <laughs> I think I am I just grommet in this situation. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're Feathers McGraw, aren't you? No, I'm How is it? How is the cheese? Honestly, it's fine. Have a little bit more. Go on. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm <laughs> fat, yeah, yeah, the smallest amount. You'd like a prick of like a cheese. Well, you know, I think that this is really good cheese. I think all cheese is good cheese. 
no, After no, all, no, this no. is mead and cheese. No, 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 there is bad cheese. There is bad cheese, yeah. Th- that cheese that contains maggots is bad cheese. Ooh. Ooh. I have a friend oh, from Sicily, which I'm pretty sure is where they make... No, wait, they make it in Corsica. Yeah. Somewhere like that. I might ask him if he can get us some. No, I don't want anything living in my cheese. My um, father-in-law-to-be was telling me all about the cheese with maggots in it. Yeah, the, t- the Stilton's fine. And he was telling me that it's a delicacy. Good to know. We've got a It's Fine from Ed. What do you, what do you think, Anna? Mm, I think it's all right. So no, yeah. It's all right from Anna? Which cheese is this? Stilton. So we've got Would a It's Would you like to try fine. some Stilton calling? <laughs> Anything it's with right. mould gets a big no from me. <laughs> cheese is just mould. You know this, right? <laughs> Tom? Yes. Stilton, yes or no? Um, so I have an interesting approach to Stilton. Um, I don't like it. <clears throat> I do not like it. But I will eat it because if I feel like if I don't and I'm on my own, like as when I was in Bistro Pierre and they gave me a full platter of Stilton, I did eat it all because I felt like I was letting my mum down because it's her favourite cheese. Nice. We have a guest. We have a. We have a guest. Tom we have a rival. In the studio. I did see the mic was live, but I did not care. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Don't worry. I I was talking about the cheese cutlery I bought while Maddie yeah, was meant to be Stilton? talking. Yeah. Do you want any Stilton? Do you want any Wensleydale? Would you like some black cherry mead? We're not allowed to eat or drink in the studio, but we're not eating. Is, we're not eating. This is just an act. We're acting. Yeah. This is an act, Tom. Yeah, it's all been done before. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Those two have already downed half a bottle of mead. No, they haven't. Not in the studio. <laughs> not in the studio. Not in the no. studio. No, yesterday. No, we did. We did this it before, before we came. We did a pre-mead and cheese experiment, <laughs> mixing mead with a bunch of different. So you drinks. know, actually, what is happening? I just googled all the information, and and we just like you know finding, researching stuff, and and just just selling that to people. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. what we're doing. The research. We're you know, doing research. It's a review. We're allowed cheese. to review stuff in the studio. Yeah, so, it's a review show. So, yeah, of cheese and meat. And meat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. It still a... Um, <laughs> the crunchy a Ritz. A Ritz biscuit. Yeah. Very nice. I couldn't read that upside down. And we even use like a special sound effect, like, you know... To be fair, that's supposed to be your job, isn't it, Corey, making all the sound effects? Yes, I will make sound effects. <laughs> I, might, I might be a while, <laughs> but they will, they will arrive. Okay. Oh god, I thought we were putting on music. <laughs> yeah, I am. We are putting yeah, on music. So before, see, I, see. I, you know, I have one question to you. Have you ever, or do you know how to actually make a cheese? Or have you ever made a cheese? Like uh, a if you go into the fridge in the <laughs> ICT <laughs> no, room just down start. the hall, <laughs> there is... Your cheese? You made a cheese? No, okay. Sophie, the head of IOCT, the Institute of Creative Technologies, put some milk in there in November, or the yeah. October, she would yeah. have put it in, and it went off on the 3rd of November. You know, that the result will be better if she will put the milk out of the fridge. The result would the also be better if she, if it, is if she wasn't doing it. <laughs> Sophie is lovely, but she shouldn't. Be, she should clear out the fridge. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Corey, for that. That was lovely. Because um, you are the dancing queen. I am the dancing queen, the belly dancing queen. I want to You're see only this. forty-three. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to do it later, unfortunately. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm yeah, not yeah, having nudity in the studio. Ofcom does not allow nudity in the studio. Right. So uh, <laughs> me and Tom just left the studio to try some tournament mead. Uh, what what do you think of the tournament mead, Tom? I like it. I love the ginger in it. I think that's... See, the thing is, if you like ginger, you're going to like this mead. Um, and also, if you don't like ginger, I say, I still say, go try it. You know, you might, it might change your mind on yeah, ginger. Th- this could be the transitional food. Mm. It could be. The transitional drink, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not on mic. Too far away. Do you, do you want to get on mic? I'll, I'll sit with Ed. Yeah, we'll share. Share microphones. Hello, I'm Tom. I'm on the radio. He's you're on, on mead radio. and cheese. Mead and cheese. So we're in our mead ranking. We currently have traditional at number one. And yeah. Well, that's cherry. that. But to be fair, no one else has tried traditional yet. We're still finishing um, the cherry one first. This this is mine and Tom's ranking, though. I think. Oh, okay. Because we're we're the regular um, <laughs> mead and cheese people. I, I'm just here most weeks because you know it's a Friday night. I don't have anything to do. Yeah, and they're my produ- I'm producing them, so I've got nothing else to do either. Yeah. <laughs> so Tom, where would you Welcome rank to our life. <laughs> tournament mead? In our ranking, because hmm. I think I'd rank it at number two. 
putting Black Cherry down to number three, keeping traditional at number one. I don't. I agree with that. I don't think it tops the traditional. There's just something like so warming about the traditional mead that uh, you know it's it's mm. lovely, it's upbeat and modern. But this this one is definitely like it's a close second. It's like. Again, I, the thing about a ranking system is all mead is a family, and I don't want to really pick a favourite because they all have something special about them. But I will say that traditional mead keeps the crown for me. Yeah, I will say that all of the meads we've tried have been nice. There's not been one we've tried mm. that we've not liked. But traditional mead stays at the number one. Anyway... Should we move on to cheeses? Now, I've never tried Wensleydale before, but I've fallen in love. We've I generally have with Wensleydale. Wensleydale's You've got competition, great. Tom. No. Hmm? <laughs> You've got competition. It doesn't, it doesn't, you know. From the Wensleydale. It's between yeah. you. Wensleydale. Mm. Yeah. Um, Wensleydale with cranberries. It's really nice. Give it a try, Tom. It's a cheese from Yorkshire. I'm outside of the radio studio. Yeah. Well, I'm, again, I'm going to be very, very quiet because I'm just a guest here. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I'm not one of the actual guests. <laughs> You're like a fake guest. He's yeah, a I'm silent a, observer. I'm a permanent guest because I love this. He broke yeah. into the studio and um, we've no, not been they, able to get rid of him. Tom begged me. He messaged me on Facebook. I'm so lonely. <laughs> I was like, come help us. We need your help. Help. Andy and Tom really just want friends. We need friends. Thanks, Ed. Anyway, Maddie, Maddie <laughs> thought that she'd get friends by being the head of radio, but then when that didn't help, she made she forced Tom to be head of the whole society. No! Be oh friend. my god, this is god. so brutal. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, now everyone has to be our friends because we're now in charge. <laughs> so, Tom, is your cheese quiz ready? Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Right. So. So, just to explain to anyone who's not done the cheese quiz, um. <laughs> Oh, thank you. That's for me. <laughs> two of these, two of these little facts will be a lie. No, one of these facts will be a lie, and two will be true. Is everyone ready to enjoy this? Um, two truths and a lie. Yes, I'm ready. Right. So, cheddar cheese is never naturally orange. That's number one. Mm-hmm. Number three is the Roman prince. Wait a second, where's number two? You said oh, number sorry. one, and I'll, then there's a number two. I've got the yeah, mix on my head. understand numbers. I right. thought he was doing a bit, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Roman Prince Julius was killed by a poisoned cheese with black berries in it. You see, I think I've heard that before. I think that's true. The most... Number three... The Roman Prince Julius... So what was that, Tom? I thought you weren't <laughs> uh, is, is it the Wensleydale? Are you eating the Wensleydale? I was stung by a bee. <laughs> <laughs> I've took the, ate some I think I took the thing off the mice. <laughs> and this is number three. And um, so this is the most stolen item in the world is cheese. With 4% of cheese being sold, is end up ends up getting stolen. Sorry, 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 sorry. Four percent of cheese that is sold ends up getting stolen. What does that mean? So, like, say, so say, if you sold wholesale to a distributor. The distributor then has the cheese stolen. Like, if you steal yeah. from a supermarket, you're not oh. stealing from the guy who made yeah. the cheese. No, I genuinely thought that it was just like you go to Tesco's, you buy the cheese, and then <laughs> someone <laughs> steals <laughs> and mugs it. It's a massive problem. <laughs> You see, I know, like, red the cheese, cheese guys mugging. And their dogs stood outside going, oh, I wonder when someone's going to walk out. With a cheese. <laughs> I know that red cheese is like Red Leicester. They put colouring in it to make yeah. it that colour. Yeah. So I, I, I'm leaning towards number one, but I don't know if uh, maybe if you age it for long enough, it would go that colour anyway. I mean, we've aged cheese before, and it's not gone that colour, but that's only with cheddar. That's the even one I've tested. When you it say well, aged, the you mean left about. in the fridge to rot. <laughs> what? <laughs> the question was about cheddar, wasn't it? And you you just kind of gave the game away because you said you'd aged cheddar and it hadn't gone orange. Oh, that's for you to you know <laughs> figure out. Yeah, honestly, I was going to go for the third one, but you know, what? I don't do, think do, cheddar do, can be orange. Do people it is steal yellow. cheese that much? That seems a bit strange that cheese I mean, would be the most stolen thing. I thought like. When PS was the last time you the paid for cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I paid mean, for a lot of cheese recently. I mean, Tom... It helps that it's like an ancestral product. Tom like, stole a lot of cheese in Amsterdam. 
Um, he did. Yeah, didn't I he? did steal. Oh, Amps- shout out to last week's show where Tom confessed to eating all of Amsterdam's free, <laughs> free uh, sample cheeses. The food in that sample <laughs> is expensive, and but the cheese samples are free, and there's a lot of cheese shops. So save yourself a couple of dollars and go take the samples. Maybe buy some bread though. That's what well, I'll probably do next to, time. Welcome to Tom's cheese tour of Amsterdam. <laughs> Did you wear a fake moustache so you could go back and get more cheese? I had no shame. I just kept going back and I was smiling at them. <laughs> I used to say, uh, what I d- did do was I would look at the cheese and say, oh, I might consider buying that. I'll try two more of, this, two more of these samples. <laughs> and I'll say, when the staff was there, yeah, I'll think, I'll think about that one. I'll definitely think about that one and I'll leave and go to the next cheese shop and um, eat H- more. How many days did you, you just did like that? Uh, it was like pretty much like... Uh, I, it was luckily, under a week, wasn't it? Well, we was there for about five days, yeah. and it was about midweek we found the cheese shops, and then, the, <laughs> and this was like, and after that they spent every day in the cheese well, it, shops. It was there. a good way to get lunch, so you'd spend like an hour going around just all the cheese shops because there's there's a lot of them, mm. and they're all on like one row for for some reason, and I would just go in one by one. Some of them had crackers in, some had little biscuits in. And I felt sick nice. afterwards. Like it was like a buffet for cheese, and you wouldn't need lunch. Do you think that the owners recognise you after like third day? Uh, they had no clue that I was the same guy. I would say yes, but it, they are quite popular. Like a lot of people do go into the shops okay. and do try samples. It's just I happen to try a lot of samples. So this is a mead and cheese tip for you. If you're ever without <laughs> food, tip. go into a shop and taste all the samples and tell them that you're considering buying it yeah I and mean, remember you can go around again no one's going to stop you trying to get just just do the line oh i'm actually going to consider getting this one i'm going to try a bit more and then mm. they say oh i don't quite know i might try this one again and then that's how you get around it this is like when you're in a bar and you ask if you can just try a bit of the spirit before like, before you buy it yeah i, that, I know what except you yeah except I, you know we no one no one would ever just continually ask to try a bit of the spirit and then never pay for any of the spirits you got you, you got to get rid of the element of shame in it and just you know go for it you know keep asking until they cut you off you see i imagine tom walking into a bar and acting all a bit oblivious like oh i've never tried that drink can i can i just try a little bit and then he'll do that with every drink that they sell yeah. <laughs> and then leave <laughs> You know, it's such a shame that I do not work Leave anymore on the bar. Drunk. Because I will let you try all of the, like, beers, definitely. That's what like, I used to do when the customer came and I said, like, oh, do you want to try this? Oh, I'm not quite sure what beer I should go. Oh, really? I have to test this. Do you want to try it? And they tried all of them. But then I said, like, I'm sorry, I'm not going to go for the spirits. <laughs> I'm sorry, could I have a glass of water, please? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'll go for the glass of water, yeah. <laughs> Could I try your water, please? <laughs> <laughs> Sample. Just a packet of crisps. Or something. <laughs> anyway, Sample we're now going to go into a song. Uh, wait, wait, the quiz. Uh, uh, the quiz. quiz. Right. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I yeah, completely forgot the there was a the quiz. Song. Yeah, we'll right, have a yeah, little yeah. think because I'm so confused we'll what's going on right now. Right, you can all break. If I were a rich man. Oh my goodness. Anyway, you're joining us back in with Mead and Cheese. Can I get a whoop whoop in the studio? Whoop, 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 whoop. Love it, love it. Um, yes, yeah, so we've just been trying some cheese. Uh, first outside time, the studio. Outside the studio. I, the first rest time, of the team takes the competition lead as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's the first one for me ever t- trying Wensleydale. 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 Yeah, it's really nice. It's really soft. I wasn't expecting it to be soft. Mm. Yeah, so, it's a soft um, cheese, not a, not a semi-hard. Not a yeah. semi- Everyone semi-hard. here has tried the tournament mead now. Do you, yes. So what's everyone's opinions on it? Mm. See what not I, as big a fan. Not Yeah. Too much ginger. Too much ginger, yeah. Okay, so let me pose this question to you. Which mead did you prefer? Everyone say... Right. Did you prefer the ginger <laughs> mead? Or the uh, cherry mead. Uh, raise your hands if you cherry. prefer the cherry. This is great radio so, content. No one can see this. Yeah, so four hands have gone up. I um, preferred the ginger as well. So we both prefer the ginger, yeah. and everyone else really? preferred the cherry. So that's going to make our charts interesting because the people prefer the cherry, but the mead and cheese expert. It's not, it's not the people's chart of mead. Though. It's the mead and cheese. <laughs> this chart. is statistic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We prefer the 
ginger, so... Mm. To be fair, when we get other flavours on, the black cherry one might stay high up in the rankings. Yeah. You know, this is not accurate, because you only... we only I only tried two, so I can't really tell you, like, which one is better. Yeah, you've me. I mean, if you've never tried the traditional one, I think That's your the opinion main, no. isn't... Yeah. Mm, we had that two weeks in a row, though, so... We did, but we could it was good. It, it was good. Hmm. We'll have some at the after party, I think. Yeah. And then yeah. You tell us yeah. what you think. Yeah, the anyway, final end so of year. back to the cheese quiz, Tom. The cheese quiz, so everyone. So just update everybody. What right. were the so, baited so, bread? So we have two truths and a lie, and I'm going to run through them. Number one is cheese. Let me get my notes up, actually. <laughs> cheese is never naturally orange. You said it was cheddar, cheddar cheese yeah. specifically, didn't you? No, oh yeah, I, yeah, I said cheddar cheese. Is <laughs> so never nat- yeah, it's that one. <laughs> yeah, cheddar cheese is naturally orange, never naturally orange. Um, and then I said that um, Prince Julius, a Roman in the Roman Empire, was assassinated using cheese with black berries in. I think that's true. And then the third one was the most stolen food item in the world is cheese, with four percent of all cheese. Being sold. Hold on. Four percent or fourteen. Four percent. Hold on a minute. Before we had the songs, you said that cheese was the most stolen thing <laughs> in the and world. And you said fourteen. Now you're saying it's the most stolen food. It's, al- it's always been food. So it's no, it just food. It's just. Uh, okay. It's just okay. food. I might have said the word. I might have read it. Four percent, but you said four percent of everything. Yeah, yeah you I, said it was the most stolen thing. Yeah. Are no, we all before. in agreement that Tom doesn't actually know what he's talking about, <laughs> yeah. and that yeah. the first one is wrong? I think Gotta be Prince Julius is wrong. No, I think that's true. No, I that might be true. That I'm gonna wait. Let they you did that guys deliberate. Poison people with a foot. Prince Julius. Julius was like one of the most popular names in the entire. Empire. Also, also, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait. So in the Roman Empire, like Prince Julius. Uh, they didn't have princes. Like yeah, which uh, I don't know Julius. that much about the Roman Empire, but it just said Prince Julius on the thing. Okay, let's just go with that because I do believe that Tom is just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. I'm gonna go with. Cheddar is never naturally orange. So cheddar is naturally never naturally I'm orange. I'll go with that. Yeah. Cheddar yeah, is never naturally line. orange. Yeah. Where are you going with that? Same. Yeah, I'm going with it as well because I think you believe that Prince Julius <laughs> was assassinated by Black Mary. So you think cheddar is never naturally orange is a yeah, lie? I'll go with that one. And Maddie? Yeah, I'm same. You are all wrong. Cheddar is never naturally orange. That's what we said was wrong. Yeah. You said that was the line. Are you right? Wait, is that? Are we all right? Then? No, that's that's true. That's true. Cheddar is never naturally orange. <laughs> <laughs> right. What is going on? Right. So cheddar is never naturally orange. That is true. Okay. Okay. So we are all wrong. Right. So um, cheese is also. I thought we were saying that was true. Yeah. Wait. But yeah. I, I wait. No. The idea you oh pick, you God. choose a lie. You choose. Hold on. Oh hold on. Hold on. So wait. the Prince Julius one was the lie. Yeah, Prince Julius. <laughs> There's no, there was no. I don't know if there's a Prince no, Julius okay, in the Roman Empire, but that was a lie. I know I we should have come up on. with that because yeah. they didn't have princes in you the should, Roman Empire. You shouldn't follow the crowd, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it should have been like sheep. Yeah. You said follow the. I said it in the beginning. <laughs> you know what? While we debate what Tom's gone wrong, we're gonna play some uh, Dare by Gorillaz. Yeah, it's coming up. By, uh, it's coming up. Hello, it's everyone. Dare. So, damn. I in the last few weeks have said that there is no way you can physically buy mead in Leicester. <gasps> it turns out I was wrong. Dun, dun, dun. Was I have found a shop in Leicester that sells mead and the black cherry mead and the tournament mead that we've had this week have Before both been bought from that shop. So, the shop is... Advertisement time! 23 Wine and Whiskey. On 64 to 66 Granby Street in they Leicester. Also nice. they, they do also sell cigars. They do also sell cigars. As I saw on the bag. Yes. I then do really fancy glasses. So, you know, if you want to get some presents for somebody, they're like That's alcohol. That's a shout. That's a shout. Yeah. You should go definitely in there. So yeah, definitely go to Granby Street. Go to 23 Wine and Whiskey and buy everyone you know a bottle of mead. Yeah, remember Christmas is coming up. And if you're a Leicester-based listener, there's a great place you could go. Just mead. to let them know, by the way, where exactly in Leicester is the shop? Is it next to the train station? Is it next to High Cross? Like, it's so, opposite to Hot So, yeah, it is on 64 to 66 Granby Street, 
Granby Street being um, near the train station. Um, if you know where Chicano's is, it's opposite I'm going to admit, I don't actually know less of that well, so I'm just <laughs> literally just looking on Google Maps. To yeah. But yeah, have a look on Google Maps. It's it's near the train station. It's, it's um, near Frank's Baguettes. There you Very go. Yeah. Nice. So Very honestly, nice. it could be and a whole walkabout. Exactly, it could be a whole day out. You could go to walkabout, have a pint, then you could go to Frank's Baguette for dinner, and then you can stop Sorry, off. Sorry, what was that? Frank's what? Baguette. He said that. <laughs> Frank's spaghetti. 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 Yeah. Spaghetti. Sp- <laughs> Somebody touch on my spaghetti. <laughs> you can finally nip into uh, what was the shop called? Corinne? The shop is called Twenty Three Wine and Whiskey. Twenty. You can nip into Twenty Three Wine and Whiskey and look does, at the. Does that mean that meat. you have to be twenty years of age to enter? No, I think this is like a street okay. number, you know. I'm yeah. Maybe like a property number. Well, you know, I am only twenty-two, <laughs> so I feel old now. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, oh, oh, I don't know about you, well. but he's feeling. I'm feeling what? 22. Young. Old. Corey. I don't know about you, <laughs> Corey. But I'm, but I'm feeling, feeling 22. I might cool. have to put that on. So, so we were yeah. talking about oh, trains last week. Yeah. Just before that, Corey, 22. how do you feel? Because um, I know we set out the mission statement to make mead more popular in the UK, to have it in more bars and shops. How do you feel that you have found it in the shop after we've been doing this show? <laughs> you know that is that the movement is beginning. Yeah, what was your feelings? Go on. I was really happy I found a shop that sold it, to be honest. Yeah. The mead section isn't very big in the shop yeah. compared to all the other alcohols they sell. But hopefully if we influence the masses, the mead section yeah. will expand. I think that's what's happened. I think because we started the show and we, like, we've had, we piqued a lot of people's interest and some like very cool shops are now selling a bit of mead. Now, let's expand that. Let's expand that further. Now, gentlemen, do you mind telling the audience what you did after last week's show? What did we do after I last week's show? Well, we went to Firebug, and then we went to... We went to Duffy's. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So and what did we do in Duffy's? We so, so we'll go back to Firebug first. Yeah. So we went to Firebug, we got some food and some drinks, and every time we went up to the bar, every one of us said, Do you sell mead? And when they said, no, we don't sell mead, we went, you don't sell mead. All the cool bars sell mead. So I would like to clarify, I did not do this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but we then decided to go into Duffy's. All three of us. All three of us. We brought, we, and we asked for, as you know it, mead. mead. <laughs> and they said, the, the woman at the bar didn't actually know what mead was, um, crazily, because mead is the greatest drink. Um, but of the course. manager did. He he knew what mead was, and he said that he didn't. You know, the bottle. He had a bottle about two years ago, and it lasted about two years. Um, and I, well, my response to that is, you're not promoting it. You know, it should be it should be the front line drink. You know, it is the, the oldest drink. It's a it's the great grandfather of all drinks. It should be the front line drink. So they don't do mead. So if you're a listener then you should definitely go around bars in your local area and ask for mead. But you know, definitely. the thing is, like, I had no idea what was mead till today. Exactly. Like, until the last meeting when actually Maddie explained yeah. to me what is that. And I, I bet next time you go to the bar when you fancy a drink, you're going to think, oh, I'd love some mead right now. <laughs> you know, some honey mead. And then you'll go up to the bar and they'll say, oh, we don't have mead here. And you then just storm out. You'll be disappointed. And that's, we don't, we, the thing is, we, we want everyone who goes to a bar to have a positive experience. So, bars, if you are listening, get mead in there. People are going to start getting disappointed because people enjoy mead. Exactly. And from our experiments earlier, we found out that mead and coke is really nice. Yeah. And mead and tonic is really nice. Mead and fosters is very nice. I don't like fosters and it's amazing. So people so it are going to come in. Awful things. It, people are going to come in asking for lots of mead mixed drinks. Yeah. And if you're not selling them, you're not going to have that business there, yeah, are a, you? It's an upbeat drink. It's modern. It's amazing, and you really you need to be selling it. I don't think anyone's ever called mead modern. No. <laughs> well, we're modernising it. We're we're we're, <laughs> we're the we're the modern mead boys. Mead and cheese. Give me more. I, I have a question. <laughs> Go on. What is the funniest name for a cheese? The funniest name for a cheese? Hmm. Oh, it's got to be Gorgonzola, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I thought I thought I generally thought you were going to say Bossan then. Bossan. <laughs> Bossan. No, Gorgonzola is a funny name. It is a rather funny name. I mean, honest, honestly, Gor- Gorgonzola is just fun to say, isn't to it? To be fair, it does sound yeah. like a like a friend you'd have who went to a private, ed- so, private school. Go Yo, Gorgons! Oh, <laughs> where you been? According to Google and the culture, the word of cheese, the most funniest name there's like 15 of them is Dirty Lover. There's like a brie. A brie Dirty cheese. Lover. Dirty okay. lover. Oh. oh my God! There's Sergeant Pepper. <gasps> no way. Mm. Little Dragon. Who's everyone's favourite Beatle? Uh, the answer is the, the Beatles. One. The best ones yeah. is George Harrison is the best Beatle, followed by Ringo Starr. <coughs> Very closely followed by Ringo Starr. That's 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 just not right, though, but is it? George um, Harrison is just was just a nice human being, yeah. whereas John Lennon was an awful person, and Paul McCartney needs to shut up. Yeah, John I, Lennon was a bully. I was told I look like Ringo Starr when I'm older hmm. by someone. When you're older? Yeah, they said when I'm older, you'll look like Ringo Starr. Who said that? Charlie what? Harris. <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> you said that like everybody shout out knows to, him. Like. Honestly, I'm surprised you didn't go shout out to Bill Glass. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, B- Bill Glass said that. There, so, is a ch- there is a cheese called Fat Bottom Girl. Oh. And there is a cheese called Stinking Bishop. I like that one, Stinking Bishop. So my favourite... <laughs> You like a good bishop. Oh, my favourite Beatle. Has yeah, got there's to be a Paul cheese McCartney. call in your face, Cheddar. <laughs> is, is it just just super mature? That's Instead that. of putting like extra mature on the packet, they had to come up with another name, and they were just like <laughs> in your face, in your face, Cheddar. <laughs> in your face doesn't sound very mature, though. No, it doesn't. No, but it's trying to just. <laughs> why are we? It's why are we? We've cheddar. gone down the rabbit hole of puns. I love this. So anyway, going back to everyone's favourite Tickle more. Tickle more. <laughs> Ticklemore, yeah, the um, the child friendly version of Paramore. Hold on, what's number one? Quickly, and then we'll get yeah, back. Yeah. We'll get back yeah, to number one is drunken hooligan. That's not as fun. No, no. that is eating no. cheese all over. I mean, it is. Yeah. See, I think Gorgonzola wins it. Yeah. Do yeah. love a bit of Gorgonzola. Gorgonzola. Yes. Anyway, go what were we talking the about? The we were talking about everyone's favourite Beatle. No, oh, mine is Paul like McCartney. <laughs> I, you know what? I, sh- I think we should just decide now. Are we talking about the Beatles or Beatles? We're we're talking As about in the band Stag Beat. <laughs> oh, it's got to be the Dawn yeah, Beatles. Yeah, no, Paul McCartney <laughs> should shut up. Mm-hmm. I mean, his his wife's um, sausages are quite nice. Um, yeah, yeah actually, Linda McCartney. Yeah, they're quite good, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're not real. They're not actual sausages, but they're, they're not, really but, yeah. good. So if that they're also oh, her beef burgers too. Her patties. They're real nice. Her sausage rolls are okay. I'm glad you're doing this there. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 know, oh. you know how I got to the um, thing about funniest name of a cheese? Mm-hmm. I was sat in my head thinking, I still can't believe that there's a bird called a booby. <laughs> <laughs> so and I was like, what's the funniest name for, a bu- for like birds? And then I just thought, oh no, we need to make it topical to meat and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I can't so, just sit here and talk about booby. <laughs> Tom, you are currently trading on the stock market. Yeah, I am just checking my stocks. I do it about this time every night just before the stock market closes to see if I need to move any positions. Um, checking that bank. <laughs> so um, what what companies do you own stock in? I own stock in loads and loads of I'm companies. I'm sure that legally we're not allowed to talk about this. Yeah, we're really not. Really? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're not. definitely not allowed. We're not allowed to talk about the stock market. No. Talk about your stock ownership on any live broadcast. Exactly. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I All didn't right. mention what ownership <laughs> I have. <laughs> he just said he's got a lot of stocks. That's what he said. The, the only the only thing I invest in is high quality mead and <laughs> beautiful <laughs> beautiful cheese. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Bad <laughs> Thank you. The bad cheese. Romance. We love meat and cheese. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> welcome back. Yes, welcome back. Uh, it's twenty-three minutes to nine. Ooh, yeah, yeah it's, been, it's been it's been it's a quick show. Unfortunately, yeah, we've only got half an hour left. It helped that they arrived right. Late. Yeah. What's everyone's favourite biscuit? <laughs> biscuit. Wow. Okay. 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 We okay, move okay, from okay. meat and cheese to biscuit. The answer is biscoff. 
Oh, Biscoff. I agree. You are correct. But you See? Can't, you can't eat many of them. No, you yeah, can't. You but can't. that's why it's so oh, good. No. Sorry, please I explain what Biscoff is. I can Biscoff. eat loads of them. The, the, they're the best. The little rectangular biscuits you sometimes Google get. it. You have a good beauty you mixture. Were, Maddie, you've, you've seen got a phone. You don't, Maddie doesn't like them. Um, but you get them when they get like a nice coffee. See, see, and oh, yeah. like the little Ma- uh, nutty yeah. ones. Yeah. 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 Really? Not nutty. They're, They're not, not nutty. Like this, this very tiny one with the chocolate on the top. No, 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 no chocolate. Um, Hold on, Google Biscoff. <laughs> B-I-S-C-O-F-F. <laughs> they say Biscoff. Right. I, I can't believe everyone is <laughs> agreeing unanimously with Biscoff. I wanted more I'm of a discussion. I'm not agreeing with Biscoff. What, what, what's your favourite biscuit? Then? What, is a toss-up between a digi biscuit like a or... A custard cream. Custard this. cream is a good shout. Especially with custard tea. creams are great, but they're not Biscoff. What about... Oh, oh, the chocolate rounds. What about rich tea? See, I do like rich tea as just no. a basic thing. No. Rich tea but oh, is best them. dipped in tea. Okay, I, I also them. don't like tea. Ah. Oh. No, I, I, I'm British. Right. I They're don't like great. tea. I don't like coffee. I don't get the point. Get out. Oh my god, you can get spreadable <laughs> Biscoff. Already got the rough mead. Spreading. It's fine. What what about malted milk? What's everyone's opinion? Oh, the chocolate malted milks are one of the greatest things on the planet. Because I think malted milk biscuits are underrated. Uh, malted milk serves itself better when it's in a teaser, though. Mm. A malteser is better than a malted milk biscuit, I feel. No, no, malted milk is amazing. I don't know what malted milk is, but I definitely know malted for milk. They're the ones with cow- pictures of cows on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, can yeah, get yeah. them nice, where the bag is really dipped in good. chocolate. Yeah, what about, I like Fox's biscuits. Or are they more cookies? That's a brand. Well, they do great biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, you know, digi- chocolate digestives. Yeah. Oh, mean, this, that's biscuits. the one I've been thinking yeah. about. This tiny little one with the chocolate on top. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, you know, chocolate They're digestives the with the dark mm. chocolate. I love chocolate. Oh. Is the chocolate on top or on the bottom? It's on the bottom. 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 Because they dip the bottom, and also it says digestive on the top. Yeah, it, like it a has digestive the text on the top. It's very weird because you don't think of it that way because no. you always have it with no, the no, chocolate no. upwards. I don't want no to I play have, with my perception I, of reality. I have a packet <laughs> of digestive non-chocolate so ones, just plain digestives right. in my bag. If, if you're having that, if you're doing it with the cho- are you eating it with the chocolate down then? Yes, yeah. that's how you meant no, to No, I'm not. Then you're just putting the chocolate on your tongue and you're stopping yourself getting any flavour of biscuit. You just get exactly. texture. Surely you go through the chocolate with a biscuit on your tongue. Yeah, then you, you do. Then you the chocolate on the roof of your mouth. So bourbon that's... creams, they're really nice. <laughs> Oh Bourbons are pretty great. So, Ed, your position is that the chocolate on the bottom. My, of the my position is about that. that is his position. Oh my god! Okay. He is the crazy While we're person. having this debate, I think we're gonna have to skip to a song because it's getting rather aggressive in here. No. We uh, next up is Mambo number five. Mambu. Party rings. Party rings Mambu are great. Number five. Party rings are great. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back. We're back to meat and cheese. Now, yes. So I went to see the new Spider-Man film this week. Did you? And no I spoilers. Wa- I want to know who is it's everyone's Spider-Man. favorite Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire. Now the here's what we should okay, do same, now. Yeah. Tom Holland. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Because he's the only Spider-Man who looks the age he's playing. To be fair. Yeah, but he also doesn't yeah. look like a loser. Yeah. He looks like a handsome kid. Andrew Garfield no, wrote fair, a skateboard. He does, he does okay. play off the, like the nervous, nervous no, he kid. He does. He, yeah, he like, he's in the, I'm a theatre kid acting energy. He, he no, is. he doesn't. No, I know. But when he he's in the whole, frog in his mouth. I can generally believe the fact he's getting bullied by his school peers because he's nerdy. I yeah, but Tobey Maguire also looks like someone who would get bullied. Yeah, Tobey Maguire looks like somebody who gets bullied as an adult. Thing is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Tom's opinion. No, uh, he, it's a, no cause it's, it's acting, because he doesn't look like that when no. he's not Spider-Man. But yeah. in Spider-Man, he does a really good job of just looking like a so, like Spider-Man. So yeah. who's the hottest Spider-Man? And why is it Andrew Garfield? Andrew uh, Garfield, uh, yeah. It's correction. It is Nick Cage. Because, <laughs> of course, Nick Cage is Spider-Man noir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forget that. We're yeah. talking about live-action yeah. Spider-Man here. Who cares? Nick Cage wins. No, he's not even the hottest Spider-Man in that film. No, he isn't. No, but he's Nick Cage. He no, just wins. He that, wins. In he that wins. film, it would be Pedro Pascal, wouldn't it? It's got to be. I love how it went quiet. Who is Pedro Pascal? <laughs> guy from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Which like guy know that. Game of Thrones? Pedro Pascal is in that film. Okay. I don't know what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> I've had too much mead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you know what we should do? 
So last week we sent a message and didn't get a reply from Hugh Jackman. Should we send another one? I think that we a we should no. send another one to Hugh Jackman, <laughs> but b send one to each of the Spider Men and see who <laughs> replies. Go on. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't think you're supposed to do this on radio. Oh, well, it's fine. We're just asking them whether or not they like meat or cheese. I, th- I think. I think. That, can we get Toby Maguire to respond to us at telling us well, if he likes like his favourite cheese? As long as he's not playing a poker game, then probably, yeah. <laughs> Toby Maguire. What time is it over there? <laughs> Good question. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so obviously it's now 13 minutes to nine. Um, Maryland cookies are very nice. Maryland. Mm. Maryland. It's, it's Maryland cookies. It, no, Maryland. it's Maryland, like the U.S. state Maryland, where they're from. No, no, the U.S. state is called Maryland. No, it's Maryland. No, it's Maryland. It's Maryland. No, it's Maryland. It's Maryland. It's U- Maryland okay, I'm going to go into applause by Lady Gaga, Ed, and then Ed, after that, it will be Limp Biscuit. Maryland. It's Maryland. It's Maryland. It's Maryland. It's Maryland. It's Mar- that was Limp Biscuit, the WWE's favourite band. Yes. Very quick question to anyone out there listening. Worcester. Do you think Maddie is weird for thinking we should call it Wuzzy? Wuzzy? I, well, I, I, I call Worcestershire sauce Wuzzy. Wuzzy like Muzzy the language learning software. No. The what? <laughs> no. Anyway, we do actually only have five minutes left. So yeah, five, five minutes, minutes left. Nine. Everyone, mead and cheese. Yeah. Thank you everyone for listening to Mead and Cheese this year. We're glad you've joined us on this great journey and we have much more space to go into the future to develop the Mead and Cheese mission. So for the end of the show, Tom, shall we recap our official Mead rankings? Yes. So at number three, we've got the Black Cherry Mead. Black Cherry Mead, which everyone in the studio loved, but because we are the authority over Mead and Cheese, we've chosen to put that third. At number two, we've got the tournament mead with ginger. Which I think only we liked, but everyone else in the studio didn't like. But again, we have the authority to put it second. (laughs) And at number one is the Lime Bay Winery traditional mead. And I think everyone can can agree that's just a beautiful drink. Moving on to the cheese, the only one that has been absolutely demolished is the Wensleydale. Excuse me, the Red Leicester is all gone. You've you've eaten all the Red Leicester. You've just sat there with (laughs) it on your own. (laughs) (laughs) Uh And even the pool said that Red red, red Cheddar Leicester is on the top. Yeah, because Red Leicester is the best cheese. Corey? Yes. You're an insane person. It says <laughs> Maryland. It is Maryland. Maryland. Right, we, we were having a debate. He, could while, be right, he even rang up his mate while, America. while Limp Biscuit was playing, we had a debate about how to pronounce Maryland. Yeah? Maryland. Every, everyone here is saying Maryland. But I called my friend from Nebraska, Tyler, shout out. And he confirmed it is Maryland. Okay. So it's Maryland. Yeah, but, you know, they call aluminium aluminum. That's because it has a different spelling. They also can't spell it. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Like colour. Why does it... Why do I? Anyway, it's three minutes to nine, and we're going to have to go, guys. Thank you ever much for listening. Does everyone want to say their goodbyes? In a bit. In a bit. Thank you. Bye. Tune into the Ed Show.